Hey, everybody. Welcome to this class and happy Halloween. We are so excited for you guys to be here and we're going to make some fun stuff together today. Um, my name is Josh Talbot, a little bit about me. I am a designer here at Michael's. I've been here for now seven years and I love it so much. I get to have fun every day doing the fun art things. Uh, my job is I'm one of the designers that makes the, the holiday things. So the jack lanterns and the Santa Clauses and different things depending on the holiday. And something that we do here at Michael's is if we start to uh, draw the same Santa Claus the same way and we're trying to figure out something new, uh, we try different mediums. And medium is a fancy art word that means what you make art with. So your medium might be pencil or it might be a crayon or it might be paint. Those are different art mediums. And so um, we can switch up the medium and it gives us new ideas. And so today I wanna to show you guys a medium called a potato stamp. Stamps, have you ever used a stamp before? Probably, but I don't know if you've made one before. So we're gonna make one today. And uh, this is a really cool style that uh, we've done for some of our products. And it, it just is fun to make and it looks really great when it's done and it's perfect for Halloween. So uh, what I wanted to do was I want to show you some pictures of potato, potato stamps that have been done before to give you some ideas. Uh, and then I'm going to walk you guys through how to do it together. Uh, and I'll let you guys know the materials that you'll need and things like that. But first, I want to show you guys some pictures to get you excited about making these. And also, while you're doing this, I know it's almost Halloween. So if we can think of some fun ways to make it extra spooky, I don't know if you're going to be dressing up in a costume or you can do this with your friends for a for Halloween party or something like that. Uh, but, but be thinking about that. Maybe there's a way to make this extra fun or extra spooky. So let me share my screen real fast. I want to show you guys a couple a couple things. Okay, so first I want to show you guys this picture. You probably saw this on the on the internet. This is the picture that I made of some potato stamps. So I've got a pumpkin, I've got a ghost, I've got a bat, and there's like a splattery paint. You can splatter the paint on. Um, and we can talk about even ways that we can make these different colors of eyes and things like that. So I wanted to show you that. And then the other thing I want to show you is right over here. I just went on the internet and I found some pictures of potato stamps that I wanna show you. So hold on one minute. Okay, so here, not all of these are Halloween or, or anything, but I wanna show you just some ideas of some things that people have done. So here's like a star shape or a heart. This one is a pineapple. And look, I wanna show you how they made, they did two different stamps. Do you see that? They made a stamp for the bottom of the pineapple and a different stamp for the leaves, okay? And they were able to use two different colors. So that's cool, I think that's something we can try. This one's an eye shape. They did the eyelashes closed and the eye open. And look, they even put this on fabric. So this could be something that you could put all over like a shirt if you're making a Halloween costume or anything else, it doesn't have to be Halloween. Um, and it, it, there's a lot you can do with this. And then I also wanna show you this, I think this is important. This person has a cookie cutter and they took the cookie cutter and they put it into their potato and they cut around it. Now we're gonna use some sharp, we're gonna use some safe objects. So we're not gonna be using a knife like this today. But with an adult, you could probably try something like this and get a nice shape out of your potato if you wanted. And here's some Christmas trees. So later in the year, if you wanna do something for the holidays, there's a, someone did tree wrapping paper and then I just thought this feather was pretty. I wanted to show you guys that. They used a sweet potato to make a feather. So that's kind of cool. I hope that gives you some ideas of some things to do. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you some materials of what we'll be using. So uh, my friend Lindsay, she's going to turn the camera down so we can look at my hands and, and we can see what's going on down here. Okay, so you guys can see this. These are different materials I've got here. I've got some paint. This is the Creatology washable paint, okay? I got also some black. I think it'd be good to have that for Halloween. 
I've got my potatoes and they're already sliced. Now that's something I want you guys to know. I want to have an adult help you to cut them into slices. That's We've already had that done. So I want you to, to be ready to carve your slice and not have to slice it yourself, okay? You need to be safe with knives and sharp objects. So I've got potatoes and I slice this one long way and I slice this one short way, depending on what size the stamp is gonna be. And I also slice an apple because apples are good for this too and they can kind of get some different shapes. So we might experiment with those. Um, I've also got some paper towels. I've got some water. I've got some spoons. I tried to find like a spoon that was a little bit more thin right here. And I've also got a knife. Now this is a butter knife. It's not sharp, okay, not sharp at all. Please, please, please be careful with any sharp object and make sure an adult's with you if you're using anything like that. But we're gonna use our spoon as much as we can, okay? Some paint brushes, and then I've also got some paper. I'm gonna go grab that. Give me one second. You guys keep looking at this and kind of check out these materials. I'll be right back. Okay, and I've got some paper here. And this is cardstock, it's kind of thick. I think it'll be good for what we're doing. Okay, so that's everything you need. And let's jump in here. Let's give this a try. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, you know, there's one, there's one more thing I think you need. Look, bear with me one minute. There's one more thing I think you should have with you. And that is a pencil. Some or something you can draw with a little bit. Okay. I've got right here just our normal Michael's pencil. Because I think you're going to want some lines to be able to see what you're doing. Let's see. Lindsay, can you see me okay? Yes, you're good. The camera I'm seeing my above camera is frozen. Um, put your hands back in the shot real quick. They're, they're in it. Oh, there we go. There you go. That was weird. Okay, guys, rush. Make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Okay, okay. So here we go. What you want to first do is let's get the Halloween shape. With this, since it's long, I'm gonna do a bat. So to draw a bat, and again, I'm just gonna be, it, man, it's pretty hard, probably hard for you to be able to see. I wanna see if there's a way to, hmm, how can I make sure you can see this? Can you guys see that? Yes, yeah, when you hold it. it up to the camera, you can see it. Okay, I'll try to do it up here so you can see. But I, I did just a V shape right there at the top, okay? And I'm gonna make it into an M. Like that. Can you see that? That yeah. M? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Now I'm going to make like an I shape here, like a rainbow. Okay, see that? And then I'm going to make another rainbow over here. And remember, we're going to carve this away. So if it's not a perfect drawing, it's okay. So I'm going to go over that one more time. My M with the two rainbow sides. Okay, and then we're gonna make some more rainbow shapes, okay? We're gonna make one right here. And one right here. You guys see it okay? I feel like this was a little harder to see. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna make another two right here. I see that okay? Yes, okay. that looks good. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Now I'm using a pencil for this. You probably could use something else that has a little bit of a point on it, but just enough to kind of give us a guide of what we're going to be cutting, okay? So there's my bat shape, a simple little bat shape. So now this is where it gets kind of tricky. You want to do a bat 
we need to make this part higher than this part, okay? If we carve out this bat and this part is higher, then this is what's gonna stamp. And this is what's gonna be taken away. But we want our bat to be higher, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our spoon, okay? And I'm gonna go right to that line, that edge, and I'm gonna carve out just a little bit, okay? You guys see that? So I'm gonna do that around that whole edge. I'm gonna to try to be careful when I come to that edge to not dig where my bat is. It might be, you know what you can do is you, as you go along, what I do is I put it right alongside that line first and I dig away from it. So like right alongside that line and dig away the other way. Does that make sense? So we're making that line of the bat. So I'm gonna come on here, I'm gonna do the next part. You seeing how that's working guys? Now I'm not worrying too much right now about this part. We'll take care of that. I'm just trying to make sure I get this bat outlined. Get that right, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna do the same thing. So again, starting that line, you wanna put that spoon right on the side of the bat. I'm gonna dig away from it because that's gonna give me that outside shape of my bat, okay? I'm just gonna go around the side, see? All the way around. And this might again be where you might need a adult help if this is a little tricky. I know it, it might be a little tricky, but there I've got the bottom of my bat done. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm just gonna do the top. See, in that time, I like dug through the side of the potato. That's okay. What I really care about is this bat shape right here. I don't really care about the outside. Okay. Now you probably noticed that we're gonna make a little bit of a mess. We've got some potato splashes going down here. That's why I brought the paper towel because we're gonna clean that up when we're done. We don't wanna get potato on the paper. Too bad, I feel bad for these parts of the potato. Maybe you gather them up and cook them up for later. It's not good to waste. But after you put the potato, after you put paint on the potato, please do not eat it, okay? At that point, it's become an art supply and not a vegetable. And if I wish that you were here with us, I'd ask you guys what your favorite vegetables are. Lindsay, what's your favorite vegetable? Um, all the greens, maybe broccoli, oh. green Ooh. beans, asparagus. Those are good. Those are the best ones for you, aren't they? I hope so. I think so. That's what I've been told. That's what we tell my kids. <laughs> oh, I love broccoli. What is your favorite? Oh man, it might be broccoli. Well, broccoli. You know what? I'm I'm kind of weird as a kid. I didn't like raw broccoli. It was too hard for me or something. I like it now. But I, I've always liked it cooked. I kind of like it like a good broccoli cheese soup. Mm. Yes, that is delicious. That's good. And great for Halloween, like when it starts to get cold outside. Can you guys see that? We, we've almost done the whole outside of the bat. I just need to get right in here, this middle part. And this might be where I'm gonna break out that butter knife. Just very carefully, very carefully. Again, it's not sharp, but we just want to be careful. We just want to be careful. I'm going to cut out that, that little part of the potato right there. I'm going to cut out this too, just to, just to make sure. But I want you guys again to be safe, okay? So make sure you have an adult helping you. Do you see how I made that little shape there? Just going to want to define that those bat ears. Define is a word we use in art to 
make something more clear. So you can definitely see there's bat ears there. Okay, can you, can you guys see that okay? You see that? So I think yes, the last bit. That looks good. Awesome, awesome, Lindsay. Thing. There it is upside down, isn't it? There we go. And maybe the last thing I'm gonna do is I just want to get rid of some of this um, that we don't want in our stamps. So I'm just gonna, I can use my spoon for this. You could use the knife, either one. I'm just gonna take it off. We don't want that. Okay. There we go. Again, it's probably not very pretty, but the part we care about is right here. The rest of this, even though it looks a little shabby, that's okay. That's okay. It's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. We just need to make that top, uh, the top shape flat. Okay, so I'm just making sure that it's clean around that edge. I think that's good enough. Like I said, I know it doesn't look very pretty, but I think that will work for what we need. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there for a second. Put my tools over here. And actually, hold on a second, let's get this paper towel. And might be it might be a good idea to do this over a plate or something like that. So let me clean up this. You know, another good soup is uh, like potato soup, like potato ham soup. That's yum. That's one of my favorite things when it's cold is some hot soup. And if you guys ever had a bread bowl, oh my goodness, that's so good. Yes, so, I love soup weather. Soup oh, season, it is that it, time. It is that time, isn't it? Some soup season. I love it. I love it. Okay. And look at that dried up pretty nice. I think that that's actually gonna work just fine for us. So I've got some paper here. We're gonna, we're gonna go all the way with this bat and then we'll make another one just so you can guys can see the whole process, okay? So um, I've got my paper here. I'm gonna use this paper for some paint like here in the corner or something. Maybe we're gonna practice on this and then we can use another sheet of paper for my, for my card or whatever it is I want to make. So uh, let's square a little bit of paint. I'm gonna need to start with some purple. Here, I want a darkish color you can see. Okay, that's open. Okay. Some paint there. Okay. And then I've got some brushes. Just if you want, you can probably brush that paint out so it's a little flat. Okay. And then we're gonna take our stamp, you know, and I wonder, I'm, we're gonna try it both ways. I wonder too, you could probably pick up the paint and paint it onto your potato. You see that? Oh my goodness, now we really see the shape, don't we? Okay, let's give it a test. Let's see if it's gonna work. Hmm, okay. Look, that's okay, that's why we test. Let's put a little more paint there. I'm not sure why that didn't go very well. Let's see. We'll put it on a little more evenly. Let's see, let's try it again. This time I'm gonna really squish it on there. Hey, not bad. The ends, I feel like the end didn't really go on there very well. Let's try it again. Oops, you guys can't see that last one. Yes, please, yep, yeah, there you go. There we go, sorry guys. Better. Okay. Yep, I think just keep your, keep your paint handy and keep putting it on where it needs to go. Let's see. I think after a few stamps, Not bad. Now, the cool thing about these guys is you see how there's some areas in here that are white. That's okay. 
I think that's part of a stamp to kind of be a little bit imperfect. That's why we do it. That's why we use a potato stamp. If it, if we wanted something that was perfect with no dots in it or something, we might use something different, but that's, that's why you do this because you want it to look a little bit imperfect. How cool is that? Okay, so now this is our practice sheet. Put it right there. And oh my goodness, I got a little purple on that paper. We'll use that for a different one. So I want to make a really nice sheet, maybe for your mom or your parent, somebody like that. Let's see if we can get this situated. Here we go. We can make like a pattern. Let's put this down. Paint. Hmm, that wing. Maybe I'm not pressing hard enough over there. That's okay. I'll try to make sure to press on both sides this time. Better. I think it's the best one we've done. Yeah, that one looks really good. They all look good, even the ones with the imperfections, like you said. It looks really cool. Thank you. You know what would be really cool, guys? I wish I had some black paper. Wouldn't that be cool to do these with, like, white paint on black paper? That would look super spooky. This is a fun idea. I will definitely have to try this with my kids. Me too. This is one of my first times doing a potato stand. We do them, I've done it before, but not with my kids. That wing, I gotta remember to press on that wing, but that's okay. I like what you said, Lindsay. A little bit of imperfection, that kind of makes it fun. And I like that sometimes if the light, I mean, if the paint is not that thick, it kind of is a little bit of a lighter bat, but I kind of like that it's a little bit lighter. Ooh, and look at that, it kind of makes a little border around the side. Can you guys see that? That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna make just three more, how about three more, and then we're gonna try a different shape, okay? Look at our time. Let's see. You know what, another, another vegetable I like are sweet potatoes. Those are good. Like that's another fall food is some like sweet potato casserole or sweet potato pie. Yum. Or pumpkin pie, that's definitely a fall food. Let's put that up there. I want you guys to be able to see this. You know, and I think too, one thing to remember when making art guys is that the more times you do it, the better it gets is with anything, karate, jumping jacks, making cake, it doesn't matter. The more you try, the better you get at it. And I feel like I feel more comfortable with these last few bats than I did with the first ones. I'm sure my next potato stamp, I'm going to be a little better making my next potato stamp because I made this first one. The most important thing is that you tried, right? That you started. Because if you start something, then you start learning and you start getting better. If we don't start, then we're never gonna learn. So feel okay to start. A really good quote I like um, if you've ever seen a cartoon out there called Dilbert, maybe your mom and dad like it. It's like a guy in an office. The guy that draws that, he said, um, creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes and art is knowing which ones to keep. I thought that was really good. Yes, I like that. Isn't that good? Okay, so let's, let's let this dry. We're gonna put it to the side. And we're going to start our next one, okay? So I'm going to put over here. I think we're going to add, we're going to, add to that. 
I really want to add some other colors to that. So I think what'd be really cool is if we could do maybe like stars and the moon to put on that back and make them yellow. Wouldn't that be cool? So I'm going to, I'm going to do um, a couple of stars and some circles type shapes. So I'm going to get my pencil out again. I think you guys can see that pretty well. And this is going to be just a, a not perfect star. I'm not going for like a five point star. I'm going for just, I don't know how many points it's going to have. So I'm just making these triangles. They're going to connect. Can you see that okay? Yes, yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, so there's my star shape. For this one, I think I'm going to use the butter knife almost the whole time because I'm just going to go and I'm going to cut right in here, right in here. I'm going to take that little chunk out. Oh, 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 oh. I'm glad I noticed I got my little paper here. I want that to get potato y. So I'm just going to put that to the side for a minute. Okay. Let's keep moving on this. Let's see. I'm seeing our time. I'd love to do something with the face. I know it was on there too, but I also think it's going to look way really cool. I want you to at least see two colors together. So I'm just going to trim out. I'm just doing a cut along that edge and I cut along this edge and I just put my finger and I break it out. That makes sense. And again, it doesn't have to be pretty. You saw, I made, we made our paper look nice, but you know, if you give this as a gift, no one's gonna see the potato. They're just gonna see the art you made with it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm. That one's a little tricky, but that one just fell out. Okay. Almost there. Okay, one last piece. It's a big piece, and I think I'm going to show you something cool we can do this, with this big piece. Get it. Okay, so look at that. There's our star shape. And I want to show you something cool with this piece. So do you see how we've made a triangle here? I have an idea. What if we just take off a couple parts of this triangle? And we make a circle. See what I'm doing there? See, now I've got a circle shape and we've got a star shape. I think it'll be perfect for our night sky. So I'm gonna get my paper towel again. That potato's out of here. I'm gonna get my bat paper back. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my our last paper with our paint that we're mixing. That got kind of swirly whirly. I don't know if we want to use I don't, I don't want to waste paper either though. So here, let's try this. I'll put it upside down there, get some yellow paint, I'm gonna square it right here. I'm 
take my purple brush. I'm going to see if I can, and I've got another brush here, but I want to see if I can use the same one and just wash it out. That's something else, guys. We are so blessed in these days to have so many tools. You know, we have paint, all these different colors, brushes, all these different kind of brushes. We have this internet where we can have this class. So I think anything we can do to not overuse things and save what we have, and be kind to the environment and our finances and whatever else we want to be kind to, I think that that's a good thing. Okay. So here we go. Let's paint some yellow onto that star. I'm not sure, you know, I think, I feel like I'm gonna put it right here on my art. We'll see if it turns out, we'll try. Gonna, and look at this, I wanna show you something too. I'm gonna overlap the bat on purpose. Cause I think that that yellow is gonna look really cool when it overlaps that purple. Let's see. Hmm, it's a little bit light, but can you guys see that okay? Let's try yes. it again. You can see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try it again. I wonder if we can squirt some orange out and we could put some orange with the yellow. That'd be kind of cool. Let's do another one. I'm gonna do it right here. Again, I'm, I want it to overlap. It's okay. See how that's overlapping some of those bats? It's pretty cool. Let's see. Something else in art that's a cool thing to learn or know is that oftentimes things in threes or fives, like odd numbers, they look better. I don't know exactly why that is, but for whatever reason, us humans really like things in threes or fives. So now, let's see if we can get some orange. That's getting a little light. I wanna get some orange out there, so. Orange and yellow look great together. You can mix them together if you want, or you can keep them separate. I'm just going to mix a little bit. Okay, let's give this a try. Hmm. Let's do some more orange. Interesting. Okay, now I want us to get, uh, get that circle. Let's get that circle we made. Do that with the orange too. This orange is very light. I can hardly see it. Hmm. Okay, guys, here's a little bit of art lesson. Yellow and red, what does that make? Orange, let's put some red in there. Mix that with our yellow and our orange. Hmm, definitely getting a little red there. That's okay, at least we'll see it. Let's see. There we go. Since this is a circle, I can twist it around my paper. 
You guys see that okay? Yes, that definitely comes across more orange. Okay. Cool. I think this is pretty fun. It looks like a Halloween party. Okay. I'm gonna rinse out my brush over here. And I'm gonna get, you never wanna leave your brush in the water, guys. The water gets up into the brush and it makes the bristles not be flat anymore. So that's something to remember. Need a different brush here. Get it wet. I'm gonna put it in some yellow paint. I want some more yellow. Just a little bit, not too much. Let's see. This brush is too soft. What I'm trying to do. So this brush is better. You'll see. You'll see what we're talking about. So let me get that dry. A little bit of yellow. You guys see what's happening there? Maybe the purple trouble there. Let's see. Yes, and you might want to hold it up to the camera after. Yep, I think I will. Thanks, Lindy. So what I'm doing is I'm just bringing my my hand across the brush with the paint on it. So make sure your finger a little dirty. But what it does is splatter some of that paint. So make sure you're in a place you're not like in your mom's carpeted living room with her pretty things around. Make sure you've got some room to do that. But can you guys see that? So That's, fun. Isn't that cool? Thanks, Lindsay. Yes, that looks really good. It'd be, I think this would make like a fun, you could, what if you did this on fabric and you could make it like a trick or treat bag? You could do this for your costume. If your costume, maybe if you have like leopard spots or something, you could put spots on your costume. We have a little bit more time. I'd like to see if we could do something with the face. Something with the face, let's try it. Okay, so we've got this potato slice and this one, you know what's cool? Let's make a ghost. And I think we can make a ghost just using this shape. Can you guys see how it could be a ghost? I want to show you something fun you can do. So if you have this butter knife, and again, this is not sharp, okay? You can use it to make some eyes. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I've got my, my uh, potato here. I'm going to make a circle from to get that in the light so you can see it just right. You guys see that? And then the other one. There's where my eyes are going to be. And then a mouth. I'm going to make it a happy ghost. Something like that. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Now with the knife, you can stick it right into those eyes and just twirl it like a drill. And that makes a nice circle eye. Okay, let's do the other one. See how I'm doing it there? Let's see, make sure that all of that potato gets out of there. Okay, there are two eyes. You know what? We could probably just do a circle mouth on like an ooh. That would be easy. We need this cut though. Let's see. The spoon will make a nice smile. Let's let's stick with our smile.
Okay. You guys see that smile in there? There's the ghost smile. Let's get rid of this little piece of potato. And then the bottom of our ghost, let's just use our knife. And let's, again, I think you can, it's okay to do this with a butter knife. You can cut little cuts and do the bottom of that ghost. What do you think? That was pretty easy. That wasn't too hard. Let's get some paper. Let's make this while we have some time. Okay, so there's our paper. Let's get our brush with some paint. You know what? I was using purple. We'll do, we'll do different colors. It's okay. I know our bat was purple too. But that purple just looks so nice. It's a good Halloween color. A little potato on my hand. Ah. Okay. Make sure we get it all painted, the whole thing. Okay, should we give it a test? Ooh. Hey, and that's pretty cool because then if it's kind of see-through, that's okay, right? Because ghosts are kind of see-through. That works. We'll take it. Let's do another ghost. Make some friends. Ooh. Hey, not Jim. bad. There we go. Move the paper up just a little. There we go. Do this one. I'm going to overlap. I think that'll look kind of cool, you think? Let's try it. Ooh. Now let's use a different color. Let's put it right. So here's something to think about. Purple and yellow, if you mix those together, you know what color it makes? Brown, which is a great color. Maybe it's not the color you wanna make your ghost. I don't know, but we'll see. We're putting this orange there. Let's see what it comes out with. What does Scott Adams say, the guy from Dilbert? Creativity is letting yourself make mistakes and arts knowing which ones to keep. So we'll see what color this is when it comes out. Let's see if it looks orange. Whoa, how cool is that? That's something else we try to do here at Michael's when we're making art is make art that's for everyone. Lots of different kinds of ghosts, lots of different colors of ghosts. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. Let's get, I'm gonna get some yellow. I'm gonna put it on here. Where are we at? Over 59. Oh my goodness, we're almost at an hour. But guys, seriously, I hope you guys have a good Halloween and treat everybody kindly. Whoever, no matter who they are, if they're different than you, Treat everybody with kindness and respect and be respectful with Halloween. Say thank you. If you go trick or treating and you get some candy, please be safe. Go with your parent or guardian. Don't go alone. And if people give you candy, say thank you. Let's see. I'm almost there. Oh my goodness. How spooky is that? It looks really good. <laughs> Here, I want to do one more thing. 
So let's put this there, last one. And then, look, I love the crossover, right? These, these other colors, when the, blue, when the yellow crosses over the purple, it makes a different color. So cool. And let's take our circle and let's just make a couple circles. Isn't that cool? You guys, seriously, have a happy Halloween. Thanks so much for joining us and doing this with us. And uh, show us what you've made. If you made your own potato stamps, please put them on the Instagram and, and tag them with Michaels, made with Michaels. We want to see what you've done. Thanks so much.